In this video, we are going to demo you one of the best React.js example. Here you can see the shopping cart website which built with help of React.js. Here you can add the item to the cart, increase or decrease the quantity and if it is zero then automatically remove the item. You can add multiple items also. And when you click on checkout it is showing the alert message because this is just a prototype of the shopping cart. Using close icon you can remove the item. Left size sizes are available, so when you select any then it filters the result. On right top there is a drop down for order by so user can select lowest to highest or highest to lowest. See everything is working as expectation. Now I will show you where you can download this project. Top left corner there is a GitHub icon is there, so let's click. See here is the Git repository. Let's download this. Downloaded successfully. Now let's open this project in IntelliJ. See I already imported this project. First, we need to install node modules so execute the command like npm install. Now let's start the server using npm start. Server started. Let's open this link in a browser. See it is working same as the hosted website. Now let's perform the all the operation which I showed you earlier. See everything is working as same. I hope now you can also download and start this project. Now I will show you whatever the code they wrote for the shopping cart. See here I am not going to cover everything in detail. I am just giving you the overview. Let's start from the beginning. Let's open the index.js file. Here id is the root and inside the app, component showing all the components. So where this root id should be available? Yes inside the index.html. So let's open index.html. See here the root div. Now let's see where the app available. Open components folder. See here all the components declared. Let's open the app folder. Now let's open index.js file. Here you can see this app component is including four other components like GitHub corner, filter, shelf, and float cart. First, let's open GitHub corner component. See here is the code. Now let's open filter component. Filter means when we selected the sizes like XS, S, M or others. See here is the code. Now let's open shelf component. See here is the code. Let's open the sort component. Sort means we performed the order by so for the drop down. See here is the select box. Now let's open shelf header component. This component is responsible for the count the number of products found. Now let's open float cart component. So when you press add to cart then from the right side for checkout side window appears so for that this component is responsible, I am just showing you the code. Now let's open cart product component. So when you click on add to cart then the item shows in float cart so this component is responsible for.
We covered almost all the components now I will show you what this services folder contains. So this folder basically code related to Redux that I will cover in coming videos. Don't worry this is also very simple. The best thing is you can download this code and debug the code and add your changes so, that is the best way to learn. I hope you like this video and if you feel it is helpful then please press the like button. That's it for this video.